Need some help hearing more clearly on your iPhone? Stay with us. I'm Fred Fishkin with another Text to Nation interview. And with us from Nupal, N-O-O-P-L, is Head of Customer Service, Paul Birchfield. Thanks for joining us, Paul. You got it, Fred. It's uh, great to be here. So what exactly is a Nupal? What is a Nupal? Nupal is simply a device that makes people who have trouble hearing in noise hear clearly. Um, it's an iPhone accessory. Connects to the bottom of your iPhone and uh, allows you to focus the microphones on the conversation you want to hear and also reduce the background noise. And obviously it's, it's doing that on, on the fly. You're not pointing it at uh, where, you, where you want it to go. So describe for us how it's doing what it's doing. Sure, absolutely. Let me uh, point down at, at uh, my phone here. So the device just plugs into the bottom of the, uh, of the phone into the lightning port. Uh, and once it's connected and the app is running, there are three microphones on the bottom of the Nupal device. Uh, they pick up in a 360 degree um, field and uh, through the app, you can then focus the beam on the person that you want to talk to or the people you want to talk to. Sometimes I, I think about it like a flashlight. Often flashlights allow you to direct that beam somewhere and then you can make the beam wider or more narrow, just depending on what you want to illuminate. Nupal is able to do that same thing. And then once you have the direction pointed, we can also apply some machine learning AI based noise reduction. Uh, so the whole purpose of Nupal is focusing on what you want to hear and then being able to dial down the background noise. Now, some people might be thinking, OK, well, that sounds great for taking videos or something with, with my iPhone. Is it designed for that? No, it's actually designed for live in-person communication. The really easy uh, scenario is you go to dinner in a noisy restaurant, all kinds of clatter of people, of servers, of music playing. Uh, and lots of us have that issue of hearing in noise where even in quiet, we can communicate fine. But once that level of background noise starts to creep up where it's approaching the level of the people that you want to talk to, it becomes very difficult for people to hear. Uh, and that's what Nupal is designed to help with. So it's a, it's a hearing assist kind of device. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, there are people who test, uh, you know, at an audiologist and their hearing is fine, but they still have that issue of hearing and noise. And there are also people who might already wear a hearing aid or a cochlear implant uh, in their day-to-day -day life. They still have this same issue of hearing and noise. So we can work with people who have diagnosed hearing loss, but maybe they haven't yet gone to hearing aids. Uh, and we also will work with those who use hearing aids. Uh, there's Apple has protocols that were developed with the uh, major hearing aid manufacturers called Made for iPhone. So often we can work with somebody's made for iPhone hearing aids as a supplement. So step us through how this works. People, people need to have, besides the Nupal, they need to be using, do they need the, the AirPod Pro or what, what do they need? Yep, great, great question. So you definitely need something in your ears. Uh, and uh, what we have found works best are AirPods Pro. Uh, so but let me actually- people... Yeah. Can people use other uh, earphones? There are right now only three headphones that we found work best with Nupal, that we've qualified with Nupal. It's, and they're all actually come from Apple. Uh, AirPods Pro, uh, Beats, Power Beats Pro, uh, and then the AirPods Max. Those are the over the head uh, headphones. Um, but, you know, for the most part, AirPods Pro are really popular uh, and they work well. The reason that we haven't yet found other headphones or earbuds that work with Nupal is all about latency and Bluetooth specifications. Uh, it just takes time for the signal to be streamed from your phone to your earbuds. 
uh, and that time can affect how you perceive the sound. Uh, and uh, other than those three particular headphones, we haven't found any where that Bluetooth latency is low enough uh, to, uh, to make Nuple useful. Uh, hopefully that changes in the future, but right now it's those three headphones or made for iPhone compatible hearing aids. Well, step us through the user setup and, and how, yeah. it, how it would be used in, in everyday yeah, life. Yeah, sure, absolutely. So uh, imagine you get to that location where it's loud and you know you're going to have trouble communicating. Uh, I'll go to this top down view. Uh, so the first thing that, you, uh, that you'd wanna do is take your Nuple device and insert it into the bottom of your phone. Now I've already gone through the initial setup uh, and so right now, Nuple's asking me to insert uh, an AirPod Pro. So I just take the AirPod Pro out of the case and put it into my ear. And right now we're just waiting for Apple to say you're connected. And now it has, and it's directing me to insert my left AirPod. And then once I do that, I'm in Nuple. Uh, and right now we're in automatic mode. And this is one of the great features of AirPods Pro. Now you and your viewers might know that Apple has technology called spatial audio and dynamic head tracking. So Apple knows when I'm moving my head to the right or when I'm moving my head to the left, we take advantage of that with Nuple and direct the focus of our microphones in this automatic mode based on where I point my head. So as I move my head right, you can see the blue focus indicator saying, now the microphones are actually pointing in that direction. And if I swing my head to the left, you see the focus changes to the left. And it's designed for you to put your iPhone down with, with the Nuple and not, not be holding it, obviously. Correct. In most scenarios, when you're using Nuple, you're stationary. So if you happen to be somewhere where you have a flat surface, you can go ahead and put it down there. We've actually designed Nuple to know whether you're holding it or whether it's flat on the ground. When it's stationary like this, uh, some of the sound characteristics know that there's reflection from this surface, which would be different than when I'm holding it. So I can hold it. Uh, we do basically want to keep Nuple relatively flat, somewhere within 30 degrees of flat. Doesn't work as well when you have it vertical. And that's just because of the orientation of the microphones and how they're picking up all the sound that's around us. And when you get a phone call? Well, we're streaming audio. So just like any other audio playing from the phone to your AirPods Pro, you know, whether that's music, podcast, you're watching a video, when one piece of audio is streaming and another one comes in, Apple disables one in order to get to the other. So you can't have two sources of streaming audio going into your AirPods. So it would uh, disconnect, I guess, uh, the, the Nuple function to, to be able to let you answer the phone. Exactly. It would uh, pause the stream while that phone call comes in or whatever that other interruption is. Uh, and then when you want to go back to uh, talking to somebody, you can just restart Nuple's stream. What's the story behind it, Paul? Uh, it's, it's really interesting. I'm going to take this AirPod out and I can hear you even better. Uh, Nuple was, was uh, created by a person who went to dinner with his father. Uh, and uh, his father had a pair of very expensive state-of-the-art hearing aids. They happened to go to a loud restaurant. Uh, and despite wearing those multi-thousand dollar hearing aids, uh, they were just amplifying all the noise. And uh, you know, the, our co-founder thought that uh, there had to be a better way. There had to be something that could be done in order to help people hear a noise. And so it was through his own experience with his father that uh, Nuple was developed. Interesting. So when it comes to availability and pricing, what can you tell us? Well, right now, uh, we just began shipping uh, generation two of Nuple. Nuple 2.0 uh, began shipping to about uh, the first 50 people who ordered it yesterday. Uh, it's available for order through our website, uh, nuple.com. It's $249. 
which obviously is a lot less than those expensive hearing aids that you were talking about. That, that's absolutely right. You know, the, the fact is that uh, in the United States, uh, hearing aids can run anywhere from uh, a few thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, up to six or seven thousand dollars for hearing aids. Um, and while Nuple's not right now, it's not a direct replacement for hearing aids. You know, people who wear hearing aids are wearing them all day long. They need to amplify, you know, sounds across varying frequencies depending on what their hearing is like. Nupal really is situational. It's for hearing and noise. So for that hearing aid user, it's, I can't hear a noise. Uh, they, people who have that kind of trouble often stop going out. They've become frustrated because they know that when they get into that situation with a lot of people and a lot of background noise, uh, they can't participate. Uh, they get tired of asking people to repeat themselves over and over again. So they disengage. They turn down the invitations to go places with their friends and family and withdraw. And what is wonderful about Nuple, and we hear this from our customers, is that we're allowing people to re-engage, uh, to get back in with their friends and their family and become social again. Um, of course, given the limitations in this day and age of what we're going through with COVID, uh, but it really is something that is, it's heartwarming. It's a great use of technology to help people reconnect with others uh, in person. Very, very interesting. So this is available for people to, to order now. Absolutely. And when it comes to the, the battery life, mm -hmm on the phone because there's no battery in this directly is there or is it powered no, directly from the phone that's correct absolutely so the power uh, we just draw from uh from the phone's battery through the lightning port does it have an impact uh significantly at all on the on the battery life on the phone no it's uh you would never notice the battery life the draw is so small uh and again you know unlike something that you're going to be using constantly it really is situational so if you're having lunch Maybe you've got it plugged in for an hour right there. Uh, you would never notice that uh, that amount of power we use. Terrific. Again, it's N-O-O-P-L. And the, the website is nupal.com? That is correct. Paul Birchfield, thank you so much for taking the time with us. You're welcome, Fred. Thanks for having us on. We appreciate it.